Hi everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D Print Creator. In this episode we are going to talk about C-axis wobble. What is C-axis wobble and what are people complaining about when they are talking about C-axis wobble? Is it really affecting your print? Well, we are going to find out. C-axis wobble means that when the C-axis is in motion it will bring a vibration to the print bed that has effect to the result of the print. The C-axis is the threaded rod that comes from the C-axis stepper motor and drives the print bed up and down. When this rod is not completely straight, or when it's only held in one end of the side and not on the other end, it will wobble and that will cause some vibration. In a very bad situation, this vibration can make the print bed move and when the print bed is only held from one side, like it's the case in our printer, it can make the bed swing up and down just a little bit in the front side of the bed. Now let's take a look if this is really going to have an effect on the print. As the threaded rod of the Da Vinci Pro printer is only held tight at one end where it's connected to the motor, it can wobble while turning. This happens the most when the bed is at its lower position, or when we are talking about printing, when the print is already busy for hours, because only then the bed is in its lower position. When the print starts, the bed is at its maximum height, and then the bed itself prevents the C-axis threaded rod from swinging around. There is almost no wobble when the bed is in its higher position. As you can see, the C-axis wobble can be that big of a deal, but it shouldn't be there at all. So what can you do to prevent from it from happening? Well, you can install a 3D printed part that prevents the threaded rod from swinging around. It even looks like the people of XYZ printing have been thinking of this from the start because in the casing of the printer they already drilled the holes to mount the piece in, but it's just not there. On Thingiverse there are a couple of designs that you can print to stop the C-axis wobble. Just look them up and you will find one that suits your need. I use the one that's made by user Chixi, that's really made for the Da Vinci Pro machine and I love his design and his advice to print the part then freeze it in your freezer and drill it with a 5mm drill when it's frozen so when it's in normal working temperature its hole is a little bit bigger. After that you must also drill the two holes for the screws until they are 4mm wide. There is only one hole in the Da Vinci Pro printer so you must drill an extra hole in the plate for the second screw. His design is really easy to install and it minimizes the C-axis wobble to a point where we can say that there is no problem anymore. So this is it for this episode. If you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and also make sure you're subscribed to my channel because every week there will be a new video about 3D printing and you will only be notified when you are subscribed to my channel. Also if you like to donate to this channel then you can do so by using the link in the description down below. You can really help this channel out because donations make it worth for me to do things, to buy things and well to make it possible to make these nice videos. Also I really love to see you back next week when there is a new video about 3D printing and occasionally in the meantime there will also be some videos. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching and bye bye.